Here we go. One of the funniest things in this build is also because of a new feature. And that is, ironically, it's to do with the exception reporting. And if you enable this exception report, what is meant to happen is that when a process crashes, a new executable that's not a Dr. Watson will attach to the process and that will send make a error report and it will send it to Microsoft at, at some later point. What actually happens though is, and I'll just set this up so you can see the action unfolding when we have a crashing process. So what I'm going to do is going to run Explorer and make it crash like I did before with the debugging. And here we go, now Explorer started crashing and things are starting to get a bit mental. What's happening is Dr. Watson attached to the original Explorer that crashed. Now this FHL, this new program, tries to attach to Dr. Watson, but that cr but the FHL crashes, so Dr. Watson, Watson attaches to it, and obviously FHL tries to attach to it, which crashes, so Dr. Watson attaches to it, and so on and so on. And what we end up is, what we end up with is quite a lot of processes which are doing nothing but crashing or in the case of the Dr. Watson's just hanging around for nothing and this keeps going and going as you can see we're up to 90 processes now, 93, 94 it's going. the memory usage is climbing as well the commit charge, the CPU usage as well That's if you click them it gets rid of some of the Dr. Watson's but not enough to stop this loop, you can't click them fast enough to stop it from from the loop, the crash loop from this one. And here we go, you finally get one that fails to run and that stops it. When you have 129 processes and 99% of all available memory used and end up with 106 Dr. Watson windows. And you can enjoy the fun and well I think this might be a test actually of the Explorer's taskbar grouping. That's a joke, I don't think it's actually a for Explorer's taskbar grouping, but it highlights it quite adequately. And then all the Dr. Watsons die, apart from one, which has the original FHL, one which survived anyway. So yeah, the FHL is actually part of the PC Health kit that's in, these n in the Whistler from now on. And it's the fault handler, ironically, and that keeps crashing, so yeah. Not quite the... Uh, auspicious start for the fault handler there.